Good morning. If you're new here, my name is Candy. I'm a mom to five on my channel. I share a lot of homeschooling, homesteading, gardening, day in the life, what's for dinner, grocery hauls, canning, and food preservation. So today I thought I'd bring you guys for a day in the life with my family of seven, starting with some biscuits and gravy for breakfast before Maddie's doctor's appointment. And then we have some food preservation to get done. I also need to clean up my food storage because it is a wreck so we are going to do all of that today plus some more so anyways i hope you guys enjoy can you see something blue uh, no i know something colored blue <laughs> <laughs> and blue that is blue on my shirt <laughs> and blue Let me see you be a chicken again. What's a chicken say? Baka, baka. <laughs> we are home and for lunch today we are having some bean burritos from the freezer with some cheese and homemade salsa on top. Just something quick and easy so we can get going with some schoolwork today. Show me what it's like to be circling among the clouds. Cause without you by my side I would be stuck here on the ground You're lighting up the way I can see the road ahead of me I won't be stumbling in the dark Your eyes are shining like the stars Hello Queen Maddie Hi What are you doing? Okay, so we use our cellar for food storage because our house just doesn't have space, but I have all these shelves and so we are going to work on straightening all of this up today because over the winter I've just been cramming things wherever I can. So Miss Penny helped me. We moved this shelf. We stacked all of the empty jars over there. We moved our chairs around for when we have tornadoes and such. That's our emergency kit for tornadoes and then we have all of our water storage and then let's go through some canned stuff. We have lard spaghetti sauce, applesauce, strawberries, apples and pears, squash, pea soup, bean soup, cranberry sauce, some crushed tomatoes that are actually from the summer before last. We have some chicken stock and over here we have some turkey stock, some chicken breast, pickled asparagus which is our favorite thing, corned beef hash, we have some different banana peppers sliced in whole, some more corned beef hash, I'm not sure why it's there, sauerkraut, and then we've got a whole lot of pork and beans. And then from here, all down here, that is all various kinds of salsa, minus a couple of jars of poblano peppers that got moved into the wrong area. We've got beans, more beans over here. This is some... Um, carrots and peppers my sister canned and then some cowboy candy that we had left over from last time I made it and then a penny <laughs> over here we've just got some more beans our carrots and then all kinds of pickles and pickled okra up top we have all different kinds of jellies jams syrups and then all of that is pickled tomato relish that's it yep Thanks for the help. <laughs> so Penny helped me out in the cellar. We got all of that straightened up, organized, and looking good. And we're super happy for that because storm season is going to be here before we know it. And I just really wanted it kind of clean and orderly down there. Plus, I wanted to know what canned things I have and what I need and what I don't need. And so now I know. And now I'm working on blanching some veggies. I was given a whole bunch of... Um, broccoli I'll show you. broccoli and I've also got some in the sink and some over here that I already washed and I'm gonna blanch it put it on my waxed wax paper and baking sheet in the freezer quick freeze it and then get it backed up and in the freezer because we can't eat all this broccoli at once and then I also have I think four heads of cauliflower and I'm gonna cut those up and do the same with those except that I'm gonna leave some broccoli and cauliflower out for our side for our pork chops tonight so that's what I'm doing right now I need to take out the pork chops. It's like three in the afternoon and I never took them out. That just reminded me. So I'm gonna get those in the microwave on defrost also. Okay, so I have a pot of water I'm gonna get boiling with a strainer pot on top and then I've got my broccoli ready to go 
and my ice bath ready so that I can put them in it after they cook. So I'm going to bring these up to a boil for one minute and then start pulling them out and dropping them right into my ice water to cool back down. And then I'm going to put them on my line baking sheets, get them in the freezer to freeze. And once they're all frozen, I will put them into baggies probably tomorrow, not today. And that's just so it doesn't freeze into one big clump and doesn't stick together. But if you didn't really care, I guess you could just go ahead and put it in gallon baggies. But I don't really like it like that because if I want to put it in like my Instant Pot from Frozen, it's a lot easier if it's not all in one big clump of broccoli. So let's get all of this done because this broccoli is kind of easy to do. All I have to do is rinse it and then get it going in the water and cool it down and get it on pans. The cauliflower all still has to be cut up because it is in whole heads. I am finally done with all of that. Now I'm gonna get some dinner going. So I'm gonna cook some fried potatoes to go with our pork chops tonight. I've got a pan heating up on the stove on high. Once I add my potatoes to it, I'm gonna drop it down to low and cover it up and just let these cook through until they're done. And I'm gonna work on cooking some broccoli and cauliflower in another pot, fry up some pork chops, and then I'll heat up some ranch beans at the very end. This is just one egg whisked with some milk. And then over here, I've got my flour, paprika, turmeric, garlic, onion powder, salt, pepper, Cajun spice, and some more turmeric. And I'm just frying away on my pork chops, getting them going at medium high heat and just cooking them until they are 145 internal temp. Here is how it's shaping up for dinner. We've got some roasted garlic and herb seasoning and butter that I added to my broccoli, cauliflower, and about a cup of water. And I'm just going to let that cook until everything's tender. Here are my potatoes. They are actually close to done. So here is our finished dinner. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with this today. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below so we can chat. And I hope if you have not already subscribed, you'll do that soon. So you can check out some more videos after this one. 
and I would love if you would share my channel with a friend. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. This is as good a day as any.